Fluorescence polarization assays, FPAs, are a powerful tool for measuring molecular interactions in solution. In this video, we will explore the principles behind this technique, its applications in biochemical assays, and its significance in life science research. We will discuss advantages and limitations, and we will walk you through the setup and running of an example assay. Let's begin with the fundamental principles of fluorescence polarization. At its core, fluorescence polarization measures the movement of molecules in a solution derived from the fact that the degree of polarization of a fluorophore is inversely related to its molecular rotation. If the molecule is large, its rotation is slow and movements are small. When this large fluorescent molecule is excited by polarized light, it emits light waves vibrating in a single plane aligned with the polarized excitation. If the molecule is small, rotation and movements are fast. So when the small molecule is excited by polarized light, the emitted light is depolarized in all directions. Then, by measuring emission intensity that is parallel and perpendicular to the excitation plane, we can calculate the relative fluorescence polarization of a molecule in solution. Now, let's explore how fluorescence polarization can be applied in biochemical assays. One of the most common applications is in studying protein-protein interactions but they can be used to measure nucleic acid protein interactions, enzyme substrate interactions, or competition studies in which a tracer is displaced, in addition to many other applications. Basically, any case in which the size of the fluorescent entity can be measurably influenced by a binding partner. Let's look at a specific example in which a short stretch of DNA is labeled with a fluorophore. A baseline FP reading of this molecule would indicate a relatively low degree of fluorescence polarization since it has a high degree of free rotation due to its small size. Upon the introduction of a much larger protein that binds to the DNA, the fluorescent complex will now have a much slower rotation resulting in a higher degree of fluorescence polarization. You can then gain further insight by adding inhibitory compounds to determine potency of inhibitors that would block this interaction, or alternatively, molecules that might promote this interaction. Titration of the inhibitors would enable the determination of IC50 values, which is the half maximal inhibitory concentration, a valuable measurement of a drug's efficacy. Although fluorescence polarization assays are complex to develop, a well-designed assay is simple to use and highly amenable to high-throughput formats, well-suited for screening large numbers of compounds. The advantages of fluorescence polarization assays include Assays are in solution, so no binding to plates or beads is required. Homogeneous in which there are no wash steps, amenable to very small volumes, non-radioactive, real-time readings, less dye-dependent and less susceptible to pH interference than fluorescence intensity assays. There are some limitations to FPAs, which include no kinetic constants, the fluorescent tag, if not properly designed, may alter the binding properties of the tracer, sensitivity to changes in temperature, not suitable for all binding conditions, especially when the binding partner exerts little change in fluorescence polarization. Open your plate reader's software. We use Magellan by TCAN. Select Create and Edit a Method. Drag and drop part of plate into the method section. Under Plate Definition, select your desired plate from the drop down menu.
From measurements, drag and drop fluorescence polarization into the method section nested below part of plate. Under wavelength, select the desired excitation and emission. Set bandwidth as needed. We recommend 10 nanometers. Under gain, select optimal. Under read, select your number of flashes. We recommend 10. Under settle time, select your time. We recommend 500 milliseconds. For Z position, select manual. We recommend a value of 20,000 micrometers. From actions, drag and drop move plate below fluorescence polarization. Under move plate, select out. Your method is ready to be used. Select next. Select your blank reference and sample wells by highlighting the respective wells and selecting fill. In a 96 well assay, we recommend column one for blank, column two for reference, and columns three through 12 for sample. Select automatically pre-calculate polarization data. Select calibrate. Reference is notated as RF. Set MP values to 22. Under sample blank reduction, select reduce and all by BL. Your pre-calculation setup is complete. Select next. Select run this method now. Select save and finish. The method should initiate. Polarization is calculated as the difference between the emission intensities of parallel fluorescence and perpendicular fluorescence, divided by the total fluorescence emission intensity. The polarization value P, being a ratio of light intensities, is a dimensionless number, often expressed in milli P units, where 1 P unit equals 1000 MP units. To calculate P, one has to take into consideration that light is not transmitted equally well through both parallel and perpendicular channels, and therefore a correction must be made. This correction factor is called the G factor, and it is specific to the instrument used. MP can thus be calculated using the following formula. Modern instruments usually have the G-factor pre-calculated and can automatically calculate fluorescence polarization for your experiments. If you need to determine, set up, or calculate the G-factor, please refer to your instrument guide or check our online FAQs. In conclusion, fluorescence polarization assays are a powerful tool in the world of biochemistry, life science research, and drug discovery. They allow us to probe molecular interactions, screen potential drug candidates, and gain valuable insights into biological systems. With an understanding of their benefits and limitations, fluorescence polarization assays provide versatile and sensitive tools across many research areas. BPS Bioscience provides a large selection of simple-to-use fluorescence polarization assays to screen and profile potential inhibitors or activators across a broad selection of targets. We also provide additional resources, including a detailed tech note, FAQs, and an ebook to provide guidance and support for FP assays. Find all our products and resources at bpsbioscience.com.